everyone, I'm Angelica and I'm a Group X instructor out of 24 Hour Fitness in Nanuet, New York, here to bring you a 15 minute workout using a chair that's going to target all the muscles in your body. All you'll need is a chair, a small space, and a good attitude, and it's always a good idea to have a towel and a water bottle nearby. So let me share the format with you. I call it add-on, you're probably familiar. We do an exercise, we rest. Then we do a different exercise, go back to the first, and rest. Then we do a third exercise, the second, the first, and rest. You're getting the picture? By the end, we will have strung together six different moves to target the entire body, and you'll have a great workout done in 15 minutes. Of course, you can always repeat the round twice and go backwards and do a 30-minute workout. So, are you ready to go? First thing we need to do, Find set position, feet are under hips, roll the shoulders back and down, brace your core with your knees are soft, and we're going to start with an easy jog shuffle, or a march in place, you decide, whichever is going to get you going and moving for this little warm up. So I'm landing a little heavy, so I'm going to go ahead and brace my core a little tighter and my glutes to lighten that up, and those of you who want a jog shuffle can work it right here, your choice. So, we know that the point of the warm-up is to get the body ready for work, so that's what we're doing today. I'm going to go ahead and stop and switch over to big arm circles, so my knees are soft, that set position is always in place, and I'm going to go ahead and make arm circles. Now, I'm making mine pretty big right now. Just go with a range of motion that feels comfortable for you, and give me maybe three or four more before you change directions. All right, so let's take it the other way. While I'm here, let me share that we're going to be working every exercise for 20 seconds, and we'll always have 30 seconds in between to really get that rest and reset for the next block. I'm going to go ahead and widen my feet a little, turn my knees and toes out, and begin to do a basic squat. So use the upper body muscles, the muscles in your back, to pinch your shoulder blades and pull those elbows back, then drive the hips back and down as you gently pull those knees apart. Just a basic squat. And because we're warming up, know that you don't have to go so deep, right? We're just trying to activate your glutes and your hamstrings and get some warmth going through the upper back. Give me two more. And our last move here, I'm gonna stay wide and just bring those heels right to my butt and extend my arms and pull them back to warm up my hamstrings and get a little more heart rate. We've got about five seconds left, and we're going right into our first move, squat. So brace the core, pinch the shoulder blades. We were just doing these. I want you to squat and touch the chair, and then come right back up. Squat, touch the chair, come right back up. As Soon as you've found where your chair is, it takes a little maneuvering. You'll be set up properly so that every time we come back to move number one, You'll know where your feet need to be. All right, give me one more and rest. That wasn't that bad. So first move is just a basic squat, just like our warm up with the shoulder blades pinched and the chest lifted. Our second move is a push up. We're gonna go in 10 seconds, so come with me. Hands are a little wider than hip width apart. Your chest is between your thumbs, your legs are back. Widen your feet in order to have more stability. Brace the core, begin. You just want to bend those elbows enough to bring your chest to elbow height. Then keep the chin off the chest so that your neck is in neutral. We've got about four seconds, so maybe get another one in. Then quickly stand up, switch, and go back to your squat. Hips back. Yes. So our second move was the, that push-up. Our first move was the squat. And so here we are back at the start. We've added two moves. Take a nice deep breath and drive through the heels as you stand. Take a break. So, how's it going so far? We've done a squat. We've done a push-up. We're going to add something to elevate the heart rate. So it is a version of a squat. We're going to do a tap chair jump squat. So hips come back and then you jump up. What if you don't want to jump? Then give me a calf raise. Three, two, one, and begin. What's important 
here. You're landing light with flexion through your knees and your hips. They should be already bending and bringing you down. Then if you want a little more ump, as soon as your butt touches that chair, jump up and press those arms back, lifting through the chest. And one, we switch over. Push-ups right away. Legs out, bend and extend the elbows. Shoulders back and down, butt tight, belly button pulling up and in. Big exhale. That one got my heart rate up. If you're starting to fatigue here, look at my feet. Bring one foot in, create a kickstand. Okay, turn, wide stance, squat. Yep. Don't worry, you're gonna get a nice break after this. Drive through the heels. Pinch the shoulder blades, and hopefully, still smiling, five seconds. Ah, shake. I need a drink of water. That one did it. Okay, our fourth move. We're working dips. Top back of the arms. We've got about 10 seconds before you go, so relax. Just sit on your chair. I'm bringing my hands fairly close, elbows pulling back dropping the shoulders down, and chin is off the chest. Get ready, and begin. So we bend the elbow, extend. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little leg extension on that. You don't have to. You can keep both feet on the floor and work the base move, but if you want a little more, you can do this. Now, if you're out there, hopefully keeping track, you know that we've got those jump squats coming back. Sit, wide stance, jump. Tap the chair every time. This was your third move. As I promised, lots of stuff happening in a very short period of time. Five seconds before your push-ups. Two and one. Turn, hands on the bench, or in this case, the chair, right? Big push, strong brace. You want a little more, bring those feet closer together. Woo! Exhale as you drive up through the base of your hands. Two and one. Quick stand. Wide stance. Knees and toes slightly turned out. Basic squat. Use that chair to let you know when you should contract your butt and drive up. Make it a little more powerful. Ooh. Break is coming in five. And shake. Ooh. How's it going? So far, so good. So we've done dips and jump squats and push-ups and traditional squats. We're gonna do a chair burpee. So for your burpee, coming in 10 seconds, set up with me, knees and toes turned out, abdominals braced, send the hips back, hands on the bench, jump back, jump in, jump up, go. What if you don't wanna jump? Always the option to do a calf raise and a reach. It works. It'll elevate the heart rate big time, I promise. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and do you remember what our next move was? The dips, shoulders back, bend, extend option to extend the knee and find your quad. Why not? We got another cardio move right now. So if you're not ready for that, give me the squat with the calf raise and the arm reach. I'm setting up and going. It's always 20 seconds for each move, but now those 20 seconds are feeling like a lot more, right? I know. 10 more here. Whew. Hopefully you're breathing as heavy as I am. I really am. And set up my chair sliding a little. I'll reset it, reset yours. And get your push-ups in. I'm feeling this through my chest, my shoulders, my biceps, my triceps. Three, two, one. Traditional squat. Some people call this prisoner. That'll work. Keep the same great form you started with, right? Contract your glutes, your quads your hamstrings, keep your knees soft and tracking over the center of your foot, long spine and shake. A well-deserved rest. We are here 
at the sixth move. It is a seated knee tuck to target the center of your body, your core, your abdominals. I'm not even going to say core because really core is so much more than just your abs, so we're working abs, but also core, the strong glutes, the back muscles, really great stuff. So sit with me, drop your shoulders back, lean back and feel that engagement, and then we can start with these, alternating knee tuck right now, or you can do both. You decide. Do a little tap on the ground and then come back up. Try to keep your shoulders back and down and using more of your abs and your hip flexors. How do you do that? Slide your ribs towards your hips, brace your core to lift. If you're feeling any back issues, alternate. Okay, big switch. Chair burpee, go. Go, go, go. Chair burpee. Holy moly. Whew. Remember, you don't have to jump. Four seconds. Three, two, and one, then we flip, we work the dips. Drop your shoulders, slide your butt forward. Make sure you can feel the chair grazing behind you as you bend your elbows and extend your elbows. Focus on the top back of the arms. Holy moly, have a seat, wide stance, jump. It's almost done, guys. Hang tight, stay with me. Final 10 seconds. Remember, you can always do that calf raise and make it explosive in that way. Five seconds here. Turn over. Push-ups with the kickstand or without. Let's get it done. I'm exhaling as I push. I can get three more in. Three, two, and one. Quick switch, pinch the shoulder blades, sit and stand. The muscles in the upper back are what's keeping your elbows apart and your chest lifted. So stay tall like a superhero, strong and proud right through the end of this workout. Three, two, and one. And just like that, we're done. Hope you like that. Have a seat on the chair. Cross your right ankle over your left knee, flex your ankle, gently press on the top leg, not on the knee joint, and take two deep cleansing breaths. Wow, that felt amazing. Go ahead and uncross, heel to the ground, gently pull the toe towards you, and then from your hip, slide that right hand right down the leg, and do it just till you feel that little tension through the hamstring, that stretching through the hamstring, and hold, pulling the toe towards you. We'll take that stretch into your calf. I hope you enjoyed that. Know that you can go backwards now if you want. Start with the knee tech and work your way up. I'm sitting and crossing the other ankle, getting a stretch through the hip. Give me a deep breath here. Heel to the ground, toe up. Slide the hand down. Beautiful, come on up, stand, interlace your fingers behind you, a little raise to open through the front of the body, take a deep, deep breath here, and then reverse. So this is a great way to get in some movement when you just have 15 minutes. Big inhale all the way up. Palms touch, exhale down, and have a terrific, terrific day. So glad you joined me today.